All right, hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Marcus Higgs with another Verbling class. Getting an echo, all right, turned it off. Um, we are going to begin shortly, just as long as we get everyone in. They are coming one by one. Uh, today we're going to look at some phrasal verbs pertaining to food and then we are going to talk about some food. Everybody always loves food. <laughs> All right, they are coming. Shamal, I think he is writing. A good student always has a pen <laughs> and paper. Are there any good students out there? I am. Oh, uh, William has a pen and paper. <laughs> Very good. She, she is the only one that answers, so I will assume that all the rest of you are bad students. No? Okay, all right, all right. Um, my name is Marcus Higgs, and I want to welcome everybody to this verbling class. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi, Marcus. Hi. Hi. Hello. All right. We have nine people. Let's uh, start introducing ourselves. We're going to say three things. We're going to say our name, what city we're in, and three, if we, if we are a fast eater or a slow eater. You understand? A fast eater or a slow eater. So yeah. my name is Marcus. Right now I'm in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. And usually, I'm, I'm a fast eater, but I'm trying to be mindful to slow down. Oh, Bermil, a fast eater, sorry. A person who eats quickly, where you eat your meal like... All right. Okay. Um, so me, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit fast. But I'm trying to be mindful to slow down and be a slower, a slow eater. All right, Semal, is that your name? Semal Ar Arda. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, all right. good, I'm good, here. Good. good. Uh, please introduce yourself. Tell us those three things. And okay. Uh, my name is Shimal. Shimal. Uh, I'm from Turkey. Uh, I'm uh, I'm 20 years old. Uh, okay, are you a fast eater or a slow eater, Shamal? Uh, so so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, all right. It depends on the food. <laughs> yeah, I think if it is Turkish food. <laughs> yeah, Turkish is very delicious. Y yes, it is. It is very fattening too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. Nice to meet you, Shema. Uh, me too. All right, let's go on with Lucas. Yeah. Okay. Did so I say my. That right? uh, yeah, it's it's okay. Uh, it it could be also Luke or Lucas or Lu Lucas depends okay. on 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 uh, nationality. Okay. So um, my name is Lukas and I'm from Częstochowa in Poland, and I'm I'm. Generally, I am a fast eater. Yeah. So all right, I, all right. So I eat very, very fast. My my wife always tell me where 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 are you going? What what's what's uh, what's uh, making you eat so fast? <laughs> all right, good, good. You you're from from Poland. Yeah. Where in Poland? Częstochowa. Chance to hold. All right, all right. Nice to meet you, Luke. You look like Batman. <laughs> <It's very laughs> <dirty. laughs> yes. All right. Uh, let's go, William. So hi, my name is William. I'm from uh, Morocco. The city is Rabat, and um, I am a slow eater. <laughs> all right. Good. Very good, William. Yes. Very nice. Nice to meet you, William, from Rabat. Nice to okay. meet you too. Uh, Pilar? Hello. My my volume control is broken, so I have to mute my 
microphone. Yeah. So, hello, my name is Pilar. I'm from Spain. I'm now in Madrid. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I try to speak slow. And I'm a slow eater. A slow eater. Okay. So, all the men are fast eaters and the two women are slow eaters. Okay. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Pilar. Hello. Moses. Hi. Or Mois, sorry. Moises, yes, okay. Uh, well, my name is Moises, and I'm from Colombia. I'm 21 years old, and I think it's uh, if I fast or it's or it's slow fast, a slow eater is going to depend on if I'm hungry or not. But usually, um, I think I'm a faster, I'm fast eater, eater. <laughs> all right, all right, very good, very good. Hernan, I'm a well, I'm from Colombia, from Neva. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um when I'm when I'm at home, I eat really fast. But when when we have guests, I eat like a sir. You eat like like what is that? Like a sir, like a, someone really educated. Oh. <laughs> like a gentleman. <laughs> like a gentleman, right? Do you do you do you put up? Yeah, I have a fork right here. Do you put up your pinky? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Very good, Ernan. You're from neighbor. Oh, where where are you from, Mois? We are from the same city. Yeah. Oh yeah. We're, oh really? We are. We are friends. We're at we're the same area. university. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but because we're in class, we don't talk too much. <laughs> ah. uh. <Not> <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's cool. That's awesome. That's awesome. Two friends in the same verbaling chat room. All right, uh, Florin. Hello, Marcus. Hello, Florin. Hello, Florin. Uh, well, my name is Florin, and I live in Bucharest, uh, in Romania. Mm -hmm. I think I'm a fast eater because my wife always complains. Uh, Hey, the fridge was full and now it's again empty. <laughs> I like to eat, but no, I'm, I'm just joking, but I like to eat. So I think I'm a fast eater. <laughs> All right, good, good, good. I love that. I'm, I'm just joking, but yes, it is true. I love to eat, yes. That is good. All right, nice to meet you, Florian from Budapest. Hello, can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay, hear sorry. No, my audio yes. stopped. Okay. All right, Edward. Can you hear us, Edward? Not from Twilight. Edward? Edward Jose? All right, we can't hear you. Uh, Diego? Hi there. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, I'm Diego. Yeah, I'm from Lima, Peru. And I'm a fast eater also. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All the guys are fast eaters. Oh man. All right. Well, um, I I don't know what to say to that. They say fast eating is not healthy for you, but we'll talk about that today. Okay. Um, today we're going to listen to a story first, and after the story, then we'll have conversation. All right. Okay. Um. The story is about my friend Tom. Now let me show you a picture of my friend Tom. Okay, uh, bear with me for the moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, share my screen. Desktop. All right, can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. All right. Very good. Now, this is my friend Tom, and what is he doing? He's eating. He's eating. <laughs> He's eating. Where is he eating? In the work. At work. At work. Very at good. Big, very good. Good luck. In his office at work. Now, um. I'm going to read you this story, and there are three people in this story. The name of the story is Tom Bolts Down Lunch. Tom Bolts Down Lunch. I'm going to read you this story, 
And there are three people in the story. Um, Tom, Susan, and Mary. I want you to tell me what are their eating habits or their diet, okay? Okay. So how many people are in the story? Three. Three, very good. Tom, Susan, and Mary, and I want you to tell me what? What are their habits? Habits. They're eating, eating habits. habits. They're eating habits. Yeah. Diet. Oh. They're eating habits or diet. Okay. Okay. All right. Here we go. Tom Smith usually has only 15 minutes to eat lunch, so he bolts it down. This does not mean he eats much for lunch, since he only has a sandwich and a coffee. However, his wife Susan loves cooking, and she always whips up a wonderful dinner. Sorry, this is Tom. This explains why Tom is not so thin. <laughs> he pigs out every evening on a full course dinner. A roast with vegetables and pasta on the side. And to top it off, a big dessert which Susan picks up on the way home from school where she's a teacher. Susan is quite petite, so it is not surprising that she only picks at all the food she prepares and just gnaws on a carrot or some other vegetable while she listens to Tom speak about his day. For breakfast, sometimes Tom warms up Susan's leftovers and then runs off for another day at work. This is against the doctor's advice. So Tom should think about cutting back on meat and eggs to bring down his cholesterol. Actually, Mary, the woman who helps them with their house, also has high cholesterol, even though she has cut out meat and eggs and is on a, fish, a diet of fish and steamed vegetables. Recently, however, Susan has noticed that the whiskey bottle is emptying out quite quickly, so she suspects that Mary is knocking it back now and again. <laughs> this would be okay, except for the fact that this is Susan's favorite bottle of whiskey. All right, class. So now the question is, <clears throat> question is, Tom, Susan, and Mary, what are their eating habits or diet? Let's start with Tom. Did you listen? Yeah. So <laughs> for Nash, he only has sandwich and coffee. No, let's start. Uh, Tom, okay. Tom, yes, for Tom. That's Tom. Yeah, continue, William. Go on. And each evening he has a, a full dinner, so he eats a lot, and uh, he tops okay. it off with a okay. With a, oh, wait, wait, wait. okay. with a with a what? Dessert. With dessert. dessert. Okay. okay. So you said uh, he has he has a sandwich and and coffee for lunch, and he has a full dinner, and he tops it off with dessert. Okay. Mm. Is there anything else about his eating habits? Would anyone want to share? Uh, he picks out on uh, food or something like that. Okay, he pigs out on his food. Okay, very good. He pigs out on his food. Can I add something? Of course, we, we am, you are <laughs> always welcome to add something. <laughs> Continue. So he has uh, cholesterol. I don't know how to pronounce it. Is that? He has high cholesterol. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He has high cholesterol. All right, but we're talking about his but eating habits. Anything else about his eating habits that you remember? What What is roast, sir? A roast. Uh, if you see the picture, a roast is like a baked piece of chicken. Or bird? Oh no, there is not a roast here. I apologize. 
Um, a roast is what we make on Christmas or for Thanksgiving. Uh, okay. okay. When when some, somebody puts food into the chicken. Uh, something that is usually baked in an oven. I'll, I'll show you right now. Okay. Can you see my screen? This is a roast right here. It's usually a bird, and it can be it can be also a lamb or um, chicken. Or I mean a uh, a cow, and you bake it in the oven. So this is a roast. Okay. Right. Do we remember anything else? I think yeah. she could down the it on X. No. He could make eggs. No. How does he eat in the morning for breakfast? He only warm up the lift over. So in the morning he eats only a sandwich and a coffee and yeah, right. in, in the in the evening or after work he eats all that stuff that okay. he's like I'm going I'm going to read this part again. Very good, thank you, Lucas, but I'm gonna read this. For breakfast Tom sometimes warms up Susan's leftovers, and then he runs off for another day at work. All right. So Hazel got it in the chat. He eats leftovers, and also William, very good answer. He warms up the leftovers, and he eats it and runs out the door. What is, what is leftovers? Does anybody know what leftovers are? Yeah, the no, food zero. that has left from the day after before. The, the day before. The day before. Yes. Very good, Pilar. Your red look. The food that was left over. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's the same word. The the food that is left <laughs> from the previous day. Okay. Okay. Mm, okay. Yeah, leftovers. Okay. All right. Very, yes, write it down. A good student always has a pen. Look at Luke. Luke is playing with his pen. See. <laughs> look at Pilar. She has her pen. All right. Um, Susan, do you remember Susan's eating habits? Mm -hmm. Anybody? Uh, anything, anything. Do you remember anything? She, she eats uh, carrots, I guess. I remember carrots. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You remember a carrot? And she likes to drink a special type of whiskey. Okay. Actually. Mary drinks that whiskey. Does Mary drink the whiskey? Do we? Does she? Yeah. We can yeah. Suppose, but we do not know for sure. Yeah, we. It's it's Susan's whiskey, but Susan supposes oh. that Mary is drinking it. Okay. Right. Susan supposes that Mary is drinking it. Okay. Um. L listen to this. Susan is quite petite. So it is not surprising that she only picks at all the food she prepares and just gnaws at a carrot or some other vegetable while she listens to Tom speak about his day. She's petite, that, that means she's small? And yes. yes, very good. She's very thin or she's very, she's thin. She's thin. She's petite or small. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's not surprising that she picks at all the food she prepares and just gnaws at a carrot or some other vegetable. Okay, she doesn't eat a lot. Maybe she's on a diet. <laughs> okay, all right. Very good, very good, William. Um, one of our phrasal verbs is there. It's pick at, pick at. She picks at her food. I, look, I brought a fork for today's lesson. <laughs> <laughs> so when, when you pick at something, uh, you do not pick it up and eat it. No, 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 no. She Very good, Hazel. Hazel. She's in the chat on the side. You just play with your food and you just poke it. You don't really eat a lot. You, just you separate the, the food. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Very good, Jorge. You separate the food or you just touch it and you poke it. All right? Okay. And you eat very little. All right? And she gnaws at a carrot or something, as Lucas said. All right? Gnaw at, if you don't know, we will talk about it later. 
All right. And Mary, what was Mary's dietary habits? Sorry, class. Am I speaking too fast? No. No. Okay. okay. No, not at all. I think she could uh, eat. Uh, she could down the eight. Okay. Uh, let's go with Moise first, and then Jorge. Moise, what did you say? Mary, and I think Mary, she's uh, she's drinking wine and and meat, and when she she eats meat and eggs. No, she eats eggs and meat. Ah, uh, sorry, yeah, she has cut out meat and eggs. Yeah, but uh, her di her diet. How do you say diet? Diet. Diet. Yeah, her diet. Uh, of it's about fish and it's steamed vegetables. Okay, yeah. very good. Her diet is fish and steamed vegetables. All right. What were you going to say, Jorge? Yes, it's like I say, Moises. Uh, I don't remember, but I I think she could down she could out the the eat uh, eggs, right? Or yes, it's as Pilar said. She cut out meat and eggs. Okay. She cut out meat and eggs. All right, cut out. There goes another one of our phrasal verbs. And yeah. Hazel also makes a point. We us or sorry, Susan assumes. What does Susan assume, um, Florin? That uh, she's drinking her wine. Drinking her whiskey. Yes, <laughs> she yeah. assumes that Mary is drinking her whiskey. All right. Um. I'm going to read it one more time, a little bit faster, and I'm going to write some questions in the verbaling chat. These are the questions I want you to answer. Um, all right, number one, what is Susan's profession? Teacher. I don't remember. All right. Um, Oh man, we already answered all the other questions. Okay, how Can does you read she? It first? Hmm. Sorry. Can you read it first? Yes, yes, yes. No, I'm only writing the questions so that we can think about the questions okay. before the before they come. Mm -hmm. um, how does she feel about supposing Mary? How does she feel about Mary drinking her whiskey? Oui. How does she feel about Mary drinking her whiskey? All right. Mm -hmm. And we actually answered all the other questions. So that, that is fine. That is quite fine. Um, I'm going to open the document here in this window. All right. Uh, in, in the verbaling chat, I'm doing fine. We, uh, ye, nice to see you. Can you read the document inside the verbaling chat? Can you answer yes or no, please? Yes. Yes, OK. I mean, is it on the screen? On your screen? Mm, no. Okay. Google, Google, Drive. Drive. Uh, Google Drive. Click on uh, Google Drive, and you'll see it. You can read along with me. All okay. right. All right, so the two questions are, what is Susan's profession? And how does she feel about Mary drinking her whiskey? Thank you, Burmill, for placing the link. Tom Smith usually has only 15 minutes to eat lunch, so he bolts it down. This does not mean he eats much for lunch, since he only has a sandwich and a coffee. However, his wife Susan loves cooking, and she always whips up a wonderful dinner. This explains why Tom is not so thin. He pigs out every evening on a full course meat dinner, a roast with vegetables and a pasta side, and to top it off, a big dessert which Susan picks up on the way home from school where she is a teacher. Susan is quite petite, so it is not surprising that she only picks at all the food she prepares and just gnaws at a carrot or some other vegetable while she listens to Tom speak about his day. For breakfast, Tom sometimes warms up Susan's leftovers, and then he runs off for another day at work. 
This is against the doctor's advice, so Tom should think about cutting back on meat and eggs to bring down his cholesterol. Actually, Mary, the woman, the woman who helps them with their house, also has high cholesterol. Even though she has cut out meat and eggs and is on a fish and is on excuse me and is on a diet of fish and steamed vegetables. Recently, however, Mary has noticed that the whiskey bottle is emptying out quite quickly. So she suspects that Mary is knocking it back now and again. This would be okay, except for the fact that it's Susan's favorite bottle of whiskey. All right, very quickly, our questions. What was, Mary, what was Susan's profession? She's a uh, teacher. 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 Very good. She's a teacher. teacher. And how does she how does she feel about Mary drinking or supposing that Mary is drinking the wine? She's um, annoyed. She's annoyed. Okay. She's annoyed. Any other answers, Lucas? Actually, okay. we can't say that she's annoyed. We can only suspect that she's annoyed. She's annoyed because just because it's her favorite kind of whiskey. Okay. Otherwise, it would be okay. Okay. Well, th that's the part I was looking for. It would be okay. It would be okay. She she is fine with it, but it is her favorite whiskey. And you are, you are actually right, Lucas. We can only assume that she is annoyed. Most likely, though, she is annoyed. Yeah. 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 All right. Very good. Um. Class, <clears throat> let's uh, let's look at these phrasal verbs very quickly. To bolt down. All right. So, Tom's or are there any? Is there any other vocabulary you would want to know before we look at the phrasal verbs? No. No. Okay. We understand what petite means. Gross. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Cholesterol. I yeah. think that's a yeah. common yeah. problem. Yeah. It's common. Yeah. All right. All right. And whiskey. Do you know what whiskey is? Yeah. Yes. No. Mm. No, we, we <laughs> <laughs> Do not worry. Pilar will send you a bottle of whiskey. Yeah. All right. What? What? <laughs> okay. So to bolt down. Uh, Tom Smith usually bolts down his lunch. What, what does that mean it's, from the context? Uh, mm. he, he eats fat. Yeah, it's very fat. Oh, fast, uh, sorry. Okay. He eats quickly. Is he fat? Right. Quickly. Yeah. Did you ask, is he fat? Yeah. No. Fast. No. He eats fast. He eats quickly. He eats quickly, all right? Okay. Um, and usually a large amount of food, all right? So you... Okay. All right. To whip up. Whip up. Uh, Susan loves cooking, and she always whips up a wonderful dinner. Prepare. Prepare. Prepare cooking. Okay. Uh, very good. Barhan, I see you, and William. Um, you prepare it, but do you know what a whip is? A whip. Yeah. It's a mm -hmm. long piece of leather, and they... Uh, how does a whip move? Does it move slowly or quickly? Very fast. Quickly. quickly. All right. So it's preparing, but usually how? Quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, William, you're so smart. <laughs> uh, I really mean that. To prepare or cook something quickly or hastily. Sorry, right. can you use that verb for fast food? Uh, you mean the phrasal verb whip up? Yes. Um, usually it is used for home meals or home cooked food. But because whip up, it, it, it means to prepare it. Fast food, yes. it's not really prepared. It's, it's thrown together. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess you can say it, but it, it wouldn't be natural. So I would not say it. Okay. okay, thanks. So usually my mom, or my mom whips up some eggs and toast in the morning for breakfast. Okay. But never a hamburger, right? Oh, if, if you mean that type of food, yes. If you're making the hamburger, yeah. Hey, let's whip up some hamburgers. 
Okay, thanks. <laughs> uh, let's whip up some empanadas. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to pig out. <laughs> he pigs out every evening on a full course meal. He enjoyed and he eat all. <laughs> too much? Yeah. You, okay, <laughs> very good, Florin. <laughs> we have... You enjoy it, or you enjoy it. Uh, William said a good word there. Too much, to overeat. All right, pig out. He eats a lot. Very good, Hazel. He eats a lot. Lucas, what food do you like to pig out on? Um, uh, mostly. Um, I get a really good burrito. Uh, next to my work, and yeah, I like to pig it out. All right, we, we say pig out um, on burritos. Okay. Okay. So, so the this the object would not go in the middle. We uh -huh. pig out. We pig out, or he pigs out. Okay. All right. Oh man, I pig out on Turkish food here. It is <laughs> haba ganoush, hummus, and olives. I'm always pigging out on that food. <sighs> All right, let's go um, to top off. So he has the roast, the vegetables, the pasta, and to top it off, a big dessert. Um, to add to that, a great thing. Add in a great. Add in to that. Final. <laughs> so, so he's finishing with dessert. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Jorge, what were you saying? I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, great finish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to to finish up or to conclude, to add yeah. on to, but to add on to the end, all right? Okay. Top it off. And to top it all off, dessert. All right. Very easy. Susan picks up the cake on the way home. Buy or purchase. I don't know. Or get. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It just, just means to get or to collect. All right. Yeah. Could you please could you please pick up some McDonald's? I don't eat McDonald's, but could you pick some up? I don't know. All right. Pick at we already discussed. Pick at we mentioned. Hernan, do you remember? What does pick at mean? Pick up. Pick at. Pick at. Like collect. Uh well it here in this context, she picks at her food. <laughs> Like choose. Okay. Would anybody want to help? Can I? Um, not not William because William is <laughs> smart. <laughs> no 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 no. Does anybody remember what pick at means? Yeah, to to yeah. eat only yes. a little. To yes. Uh -huh. Right with the food on the dessert. A very 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 good pillar, William. What were you going to say? I was uh, going to say pork at. Okay. Fork. As I use the fork. All right, pick at again, as Pilar said, means to play with your food on the plate or to poke at it. Okay. Literally, what pick means, pick, you pick up with two fingers or your chopsticks, but to pick at something, it means to play with it and to not really eat it. Let me highlight it. To eat sparingly or without an appetite. If we're talking about food, and she picks at her food. Usually, what do kids pick at? Vegetables. Vegetables, <laughs> yes. Fish. Fish. Fish? fish? No, I love fish. Nah. <laughs> Are you a child? <laughs> Am I a child? In my heart, yes. <laughs> All right, kids usually pick at vegetables. That's true. All right, now to gnaw at. Um, Susan usually gnaws at a piece of carrot or a carrot. Carrot. What does gnaw mean? Jorge, I will ask you. Uh, sorry, can you repeat the question? Susan usually gnaws at a carrot. Um, gnaws at a carrot. What does gnaw at mean? My. And the carrot. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. Why. Sorry. <laughs> I don't understand this phrasal verb. Can't add a carrot. Not add. Uh, Burhan, 
Do you want to try? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Burhan. Yes. Can you please ask William what does not at mean? Uh, what does? Not at mean. <laughs> not at mean. Mm -hmm. Can you ask William, please? Yeah, what well, I don't know. Is that a <laughs> shoe or <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> no, that is that is true. All right. Uh, but Burma, you didn't ask her, but that's okay. That is yes, okay. <laughs> because <laughs> she she uh, tell, uh, She can hear me? Yeah. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, class. All right, so to gnaw at means to chew at persistently or aggressively. Gnaw at? You're chewing. Okay. Also, like you can rabbit? also... Yes, oh, like a rabbit, okay. exactly. I was going to say Bugs cell, Bunny huh? is always like gnawing cell, at yeah. a piece of... Okay. Gnawing up. And you can also say gnaw on. That is another phrasal verb. Okay. Gnaw at is a little bit more aggressive, but you gnaw on. Does that have another meaning, Marcus? Gnaw like deteriorate, it, to deteriorate something. Yes. I, I just Google it, yeah. Yes, yes. To deteriorate, um, something gets less over a, a period of time. Uh -huh. Okay. But to na means to chew also. Okay. Okay. Warm up. Uh, let's. Diego, are you with us? Yes. He tapped. Okay. What what's warm up? Uh, to warm the food from. The <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. He tapped. No, no, that is that is perfect, Diego. I'm I'm laughing because it is. It is a literal phrasal verb. So to warm up means to become warmer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So to cut back, Lucas. Um. Actually, I don't know how to explain that. Um, to reduce something or to um. Lucas, are you reading my mind? Yeah. So yeah. So make a reduction. Yeah. Like yes, that. to reduce something. That is that is quite right. To make a reduction in something or to cut down on. Okay, um, I'm going to skip uh, bring down for a moment. Uh, let's look at to cut back. And uh, Florin, can you tell me what is to cut out? Uh, to cut out, it means basically to stop. Stop, right. Doing something. Okay, mm -hmm. I have delete or remove. Yeah. All right, so we see cut back, cut back, and then there's cut out. Do you see the difference? Yeah. 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 Uh, Nag Nagla, are you with us? Again, teacher. Again. Or Ahmed? Yeah, Nagla Ahmed. Nag Nagla Ahmed. Yeah. Um, cut. Cut back. Uh, what is the difference cut between out. cut back and cut out? Uh, cut could back out. If you, if, I think okay, one is. Uh, let, let's sorry. Let's go with Jorge first. Uh, well, I think uh, uh, could could out is stop and don't do it and don't uh, don't do it that again. Um, cut back. Uh, I uh, is on uh, uh, come back to the to to do it to doing that thing that 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 uh, I don't know. I have I have a little confused, but I think it's that it's not going back to that um, and and cut out is stop. Okay, all right. Does anybody want to add anything? Yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yes. I think. Sorry. <laughs> all right, we'll go. We'll go with the lovely Pilar. We have not heard her voice yet. Okay, I think cut out is stop completely, and mm -hmm. cut back is only a part or. Yeah, okay. I think, yeah, I think it like could be like reduce and put I, out. It's like quit. Yes, perfect. That's I, it. Exactly, exactly. Burhan, Burhan, I want to hear your voice too. Go on. Yes. Uh, I think uh, cut back is uh, you use, uh, uh, example, you use uh, one salad 
Mm-hmm. Uh, one cucumber. You not use one cucumber, half cucumber. This is name is cutback, I think. Um, that that's uh, that may be a literal. I'm, I'm not understanding um, too much, but um, it, it is exactly what Hernan and Pilar said. Cut yeah. out okay. means stop. Can I speak? Stop. Okay. Cut out. And cut back means to reduce a uh, little bit, but you don't completely stop. Okay. All right, Nagla. Yes. Uh, yes, you can. I think uh, cut out uh, for uh, stop, uh, but uh, cut uh, down. Um, uh, cut back. Cut not anything. Cut down. Uh, cut, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, cut back. Uh, cut anything and uh, and uh, and continue the eating or. Yes. But you continue at uh, le- with less. Okay. okay. Let, yeah. Let's move Marcus, on. I'm sorry. sorry I'm sorry. I have a question. It. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Arnan, is question. it about cut back and cut on? Yes. Okay. Go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when when you're cutting back, is the intention or the goal is to finally quit, right? Or Not necessarily. Um. I want to cut back on my time on Facebook. Me too. <laughs> you know, actually, really, now that I think about it, I want to cut back on my time on Facebook. But I don't want to cut Facebook out. I, I just okay. want to. I just want to do less of it. Usually, okay. sometimes it means I want to quit completely. So I want to cut back okay. smoking, and eventually, I want to cut it out. Eventually, I want to cut it out. But you can cut back and not cut it out completely. Okay, thanks. All right, good, good. Um, let's go on to bring it down. I'm just going to tell you it means make a reduction also. Now, if you look at cut back and bring down, they both mean to make a reduction in something. Mm-hmm. But to bring down, we usually mean it with things that increase by height. So his cholesterol, your cholesterol level in English. It goes up and down, up and down. So he cannot cut back his cholesterol. No, no, no. Because it's up and down, he has to bring it down. It's literal. Bring down. Mm. Good. Okay. Yeah. All right. And the last one, knock it back. Who would who would know what this means? Lucas, I'm sorry, but I think you know what this means. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't know that. <laughs> oh, let me use it in context. Um, Susan has noticed that the bo- the whiskey bottle is emptying out quite quickly, so she suspects that Mary is knocking it back now and again. Uh, doing doing that again? Yeah. I don't know. Hazel, very good, very good, Hazel. Yeah. All right, now what does it mean here? It means the bottle. Yeah. To cause Knocking to go down. it back. Florine, yes? To cause to go down. To empty the bottle. Okay, does anybody else want to try before I, I highlight it? Uh, I think it's, it's down, drink again. Okay. The bottle. No. When you're in Spain, Spanish people love to knock back cervezas and wine. Oh. <laughs> Drink. It's true, all right? It's an informal yeah. verb, phrasal verb. It means to drink, especially quickly. Cheers! Okay. And then you knock it back. That's what it means, knock back. Oh, okay. Let's knock back some shots. You know what? It is very good that you guys did not know this. That means that you guys do not drink. <laughs> <laughs> sure. No. I don't know. That is why I asked, I asked Lucas. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Um, any anything you would want me to explain in more detail? I don't know. No. Yeah, no, I got one question uh, about okay. the, the the phrasal rules because. The, Pig out. I can't mm-hmm. insert it between pig and out. But in 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 Did case you say of can't or can, I can't. Yes, that is right. Mm-hmm. And for um, 
cut back, you said you you have to cut Facebook back. So yeah, it like okay. So what are the rules? That sometimes you are allowed to insert uh, uh, noun between cut or um, any phrasal verb or and what what are the All situations right. for that? The, the thing about phrasal verbs, that's that's right. You have to learn them. Some phrasal verbs are separable. You can separate them. Knock it back. The object must go in the middle. The bottle is it. All right. So knock the but. Let's knock it back. It has to go in the middle. Some phrasal verbs, you cannot separate them. Pig it out is not correct. It's pig out. So you you just have to learn them. <laughs> okay. when, when you study a phrasal verb book. Um, there, there are many out there. You can talk to me after the lesson. I will send you some. Um, but they will tell you if they are separable or non-separable. Okay. Yeah. Does, does that help you, Lucas? Yeah. So, no, actually that doesn't help me that. <laughs> that <laughs> only adds well, more well, complexity. You, you have to learn it, okay? You, yeah. have, to, you have to study. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's brutal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 sorry. I don't make the rules. I only play by them. Okay. Okay. Um. Everybody, let's let's click on the link. Or if you click on the link, it will take you to a phrasal verb exercise. Let's do real quick. I'll try to share my screen, and we'll do okay. it together. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yeah. It's not clear. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. All right. Number one, to eat food very quickly is to A, bolt it down. down, pig out, or C, whip it up. Bolt it down. Bolt it down. A. Bolt it down. All right, the answer is A, to bolt it down. To eat food very quickly is to bolt it down. Actually, I would say B also, to pig out. Yeah. I think B is also an answer, A and B. Okay, let's go on. <laughs> if you only eat a small amount of a meal, you A, gnaw at it, B, bolt it down, or C, pick at it. C, pick at it. C. All right, very good, very good, class. Pick at it. C, to eat a lot of food is to? Pick out. Pick out. Pick out. All right, pick out. <laughs> <laughs> to eat less of something to improve your health is to mm, good back. Good back. Back. Good back. I'm sorry, I, did I hear a question? Okay. All right, you cut back on it. All right. We cut back on it. I need to cut back on sugar. All right. To drink a lot of alcohol <laughs> is to knock it back. Knock it back. Knock it back. back. <laughs> Ilar was the first one to answer. <laughs> because I'm Spanish, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> to heat food again that has already been cooked is to warm it up. 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 Yes, yes, yes. All right. Um Thank you, class. Now we have some discussion questions here. All right. Uh, very quickly, if I'm going to skip to question number two, if everyone from Verbling inside this hangout mm -hmm. came to your house for dinner right now, what could you whip up? What could you whip up? Me, my my go-to quick meal, I can whip up some pasta and tuna. Very, 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 very nice. All right. So, what what can you whip up? I'm gonna I'm gonna go with uh, Buran. First, do you cook? <laughs> I guess that's a no. <laughs> <laughs> Diego, Diego, go for it. Uh, 
I don't really know how to cook, but I <laughs> buy a pizza for everyone. <laughs> I don't know how to eat my credit card. Okay, <laughs> you would buy a pizza. Ah. Yeah. Uh, in in where do you live, uh, Diego? Again, Colombia. Uh, no, Peru, in Peru. Peru. Yes. Do they do they deliver pizzas or do you have to pick them up? Uh, both. Both. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So you'd pick up a pizza. Florin, what about you? Um, I can order a pizza very, very fast. <laughs> 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 I only know how to, 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 to uh, prepare some fried potatoes. That, that's all. Okay. Cook, so. Yeah, I, I would do the same. Just call the guy and say, whip it up. <laughs> hey, can you whip up some pizzas for me? <laughs> Actually, yeah. Jorge? Uh, I don't know. I prefer uh, arepas. It's a, it's a type of food. Do, do okay. you know that? Do you know it? I know, I know arepas. I know arepas. Okay. Uh, na Nagla? Uh, my dinner? Yes, if, if we, everybody, all nine of us, we are coming to your house. Yeah. What could you whip up? Uh, do you know I'm... what whip up means? No. Do, yeah. do you understand whip up? Yeah. Okay. Bring, bring the food. Uh, no, well, whip up, Lucas, what does whip up mean? Whip up means to prepare something very quickly. Okay. Yeah. So, what could you prepare very quickly? Uh, I request a food for, uh, from a uh, restaurant. <laughs> you, okay, all right. Nobody wants to cook. <laughs> very good, okay. Pilar? Mm, something quick is uh, fried eggs and chips, first of all. Okay, that's good. Ah! That is not healthy. I don't know. That's, just not, <laughs> that's not healthy. <laughs> it's one of the best food in the world, I think. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Here in Spain, we used to eat it. I think uh, maybe twice a week. <laughs> okay. We no. We are we are visitors in your house, so we cannot okay. complain about your food. <laughs> okay. Fried eggs, fried eggs, nuts and chips or fries. Okay, William, what would you whip up for us? I don't know. There is. It's um, in French. It's gratin. I don't know if you ever heard about it. I I looked for it and I found that it's cheese topping. I don't know if it's. Gratin. It can, can you show us the page? I don't know on Facebook. Okay. I mean on on Google, or okay. you can put it in the chat. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna look. Okay, Lucas, what would you whip up? I would whip up a salad with chicken. Yeah, That's and cab cabbage and <laughs> cucumber and eggs and beans. Yeah. Ah, that's what's salad. That's the salad. Yeah. Okay. No, but yeah, salad yeah. sounds hard to prepare. Yeah. That salad is very easy. It's very yeah, easy, but very everybody's uh, with hungry. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the dinner, okay? <laughs> and, then, and then we will fly to Spain to get some fried eggs. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so William, what is this? Uh, the, the link. <laughs> no, no, I mean, what, what is it? What is it? What it's, is gra name? it's grata. 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 Oh, the, it is not coming up, but that is okay. It didn't open for me. That is okay. I, it didn't open for me, so. Okay. Or you I'm can gonna... just type grata. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let, let's go on. Uh, let's go to number six. That's an interesting question. Mm. Did, did you type it, William? You can yes. type it in the verbal chat and we can. Okay. Right now. Yeah. Does anybody know what gratin is? No. no. Oh, you can make this? What's yeah. that? 
I just have to come here in Morocco and then <laughs> make it for you. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right. This is Grata. Can you everybody see? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. It looks like uh, like a bosque. Oh. No. Oh, we still look good. <laughs> mm, like yes. Bosque. I'm already hungry. <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, okay, so guys, uh, before William tells us, what do you think is in this? What do you think is in this? Potato. 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 Cheese. Um, cheese. Cheese. No. Cheese. 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 cheese? Mm. Potato. I cheese. think cheese. Onion, maybe. <laughs> maybe yeah, onions, onion. yeah. Eggs. And eggs, like yes, eggs. eggs. It's uh, like a tortilla. Bites. Is cheese or egg? Tortilla española. Tortilla española. Tortilla española. <laughs> <laughs> these, these look like scalloped potatoes. I will show you. In in America, we have scalloped potatoes, which look like the same thing. Yeah, I yeah. think it's the same. It's, what? How can I say bechamel? Bechamel? How can you say what? La bechamel. Oui, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bechamel yeah. sauce. I know, this, I know this the word. Sauce name. Yeah, it's a, it's a sauce. Sauce name, bechamel. Yeah. It's, a, it's a sauce name, right? Yes. Bechamel. You, it's a, you, it's a you, white sauce. You, yes, you use cheese and milk. Oil, milk. Flour. Uh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> Curing of milk. Be because uh, uh, bechamel. I, I, I mean, <laughs> Continue, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> continue, Luke. Sorry, sorry, I kept on saying. Continue. You are okay. Who who was talking? Somebody was talking, and I, I stepped on. I them. I'm. <laughs> oh, sorry, 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 Baran. I thought it was Luke. Continue, Baran. I like food because uh, this is my job. I'm food engineer. <laughs> <laughs> A food engineer, a chef. A food engineer. Yes, engineer, yes. Uh, food, food science, same of the food engineer. In my country, it's food engineer. It's Where do you live? Food science. I live in Turkey. And Aristo? Ah. So Aristo? we're going to come and visit you. <laughs> okay, you see? Yes. <laughs> I with you. You have to do the dinner. Yes. Obviously. Hold on. But Bermil, you were the one who said you would order a pizza. I, I, <laughs> I prepare very healthy meal for for you. Okay, no, Bur oh no, no, you weren't here, Buran, Buran, Buran. Sorry. If we came to Turkey, if yes. the whole class came to Turkey, yes. what would you whip up? Whip up. <laughs> whip up. What would whip you whip up? up? Uh, salad. Uh, I prepare salad because <laughs> whip up is very <laughs> easy. Uh, and okay. healthy. Uh, okay, Shawarma okay. Would be also good. <laughs> <laughs> Some shawarma. But uh, you, uh, they time, uh, they have a time. Uh, I prepare a very delicious meal for your. <laughs> we will come. We, I. Yes, I will. I will try to come. <laughs> okay, I live uh, I live near the airport. <laughs> you came <laughs> and I take I take. <laughs> which which air which one in Antalya or the in, no or Istanbul in in Istanbul. Oh okay, Istanbul. In Istanbul. Okay, I will come to the airport. I will walk out and yell your name. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> and and I think you can take with you some carrots and lettuce. And <laughs> <laughs> I will gnaw on the carrots until I get there. Or the salad. Okay. There is only one more minute left. I want. Let me take this time to first say thank you. Um, please wait for the next. If you have time, wait for the next grammar class by Jeff. All right. There's a lot of talking time in his class. Um, if you have feedback. If I can make the class better, if I spoke too fast, or if there's something you didn't understand, there's a feedback button at the bottom of this window on Verbaling. And there's also a follow the teacher button. You can okay. come for game day. I love game days. Oh, tomorrow I'm going to do a game day. 
Okay. Thank you. Right, so follow me if you want to see the game. And no, first and lastly, lastly, let me um, let me top it off mm-hmm. with a thank you, a thank you to all of you for coming because you make this class interesting. Really, thank you, thank you. Right. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. All right. All right. Great class. Thank you. I'm going to go have dinner. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. <laughs> have a nice day. Bye-bye. See you. Right. I'm Thank going to have salad, you. yes. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You go and get Bye. some salad. Bye. Goodbye, teacher. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Everybody said bye. Nobody left. Okay. <laughs> All right, really. I, I wanted to be the last, but all right. Goodbye, everyone. I have to go. Bye. Bye. Bye.